name was Jesus and he said by my stripe ye are healed do you believe in healing I believe there's a God up in heaven amen he said healing was the children's bread I can tell you amen that it's outdated if they want to but not with God I said but not with God I'm thankful before there's ever a surgeon they was a God amen who then can be saved amen who then can be saved Let's look at our world today. I'm not going to say much. I don't know what to do. Following the Holy Ghost sometimes is one breath at a time. I don't know what to do either. Who can be saved? Take somebody on meth and take them home with you and try to change them. They'll strip you and beat you and leave you for dead. You may have some good ideas, but you can't change a soul. Oh, who then can be saved? Who can take a drunkard? I mean, that has cursed God to his face. Said every ungodly thing it could be said. I mean, have the filthiest mouth. Can they be saved? I mean, somebody that the world throws away and puts them, puts them away. Who then can be saved? For with man it's impossible. But John, but not with God. Not with God. Do you remember when the world throwed you away? Come on, talk to me. Amen. I mean, no count for nothing. I mean, you was, you was at the top of the list when it come to sinners. I mean, you know how to do everything. Not even did you know how to do drugs, but you know how to make them. The world said you better stay away from them. Every probation officer in Haywood County knowed who you was. But with man, it's impossible to try to change somebody's heart. But not with God. Because when you come to an altar and got out on your face and got up off that altar, you didn't know a whole lot about God, but you know something's different. Somebody may need to testify about what the Lord done for you. Please don't just talk to be talking. If you've got something to say this morning, I'm just trying to follow the leadership of the Holy Ghost here. Anybody got something you'd like to say? I do too. Thank you, Jesus. Because he first loved me. Someone else.
Jim testify. About that. How about that? Yeah, he did. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Told somebody the other day, sitting in the walls of our church ain't nothing but a bunch of rejects. Just a bunch of people that the world wouldn't take. Jesus did. Ethan asked me the other day, he said, I went to Lowe's and they've got a big old pile of crooked two before us over there. You reckon they'd let me have them at a discount? I said, they'll throw them out back and you can get them for a dollar probably. Jesus come looking in our world. He looked up there in that stack of crooked stuff. And he didn't ask Joe if I'm going to pay a discount. He said, I'm going to pay the highest price for that pile of crooked people. And out of that pile come Dale Wheeler, Joe Larkin, Randy Goodson, Homer Williams, and everybody else in this building that was in that pile of crooked people. And Jesus said, I'll pay for them and I'll give my life. And I'll move on the inside of them, but I won't leave them crooked. Ain't you glad this morning Jesus didn't leave you like he found you? Hallelujah. When Jesus moves in, he'll make a new creature out of you. I told somebody the other day, if you'll surrender your life to him and wholly follow him, it'll blow your mind what Jesus can do for you. Amen. He can take nothing and make something out of it. Somebody else this morning got something you'd like to say. If you've got something, don't hold it back. Somebody needs to hear it. Right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I have made up my mind, no matter what others say, I will follow Christ. What is that chord you play that in? Stand up, youth choir. Let her rip. I've made up my mind When the battle gets hard That's okay Set my heart Thank you, Jesus. And grace to do life. After all God's done for me, Jesus' blood has set me free. I choose to walk in liberty.
Because I've made up my mind. Sing it, church. I've made up my mind. No matter what others say, I will follow Christ and walk in His way. It's hard and the road gets steep. That's okay. Cause I've set my heart on becoming like Christ, dying with Him and raised to new life. All the things of this world I'm leaving behind because I've made up my mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The devil will tell you you're crazy when you leave all that behind and start walking a new path of faith with a new family in Christ because he says you'll never have anything. How many of you can say this morning, I've got more now than I could ever imagine? Ever imagine that I could have had. What it took then for you to stay high for one day, you can live on now. Because you got peace on the inside. You don't have to have a worldly nothing to give you a good feeling. You've got a book that you can open and look in the pages and a man living in your heart. If you've not got that this morning, I got great, great news. He's still standing with open arms, saying, Whosoever will, just let him come. Take of the water of life freely. He that have no money, he said, let them come. He that is thirsty, no water, let them come. Because he said, I, I'm that water. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else, anything on your heart? Yes, sir. I think that's up. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I believe the Lord ought to have another hand play. Praise the Lord. When God shuts the door, He'll always open another one. Somebody else this morning? Got something you'd like to tell what the Lord done for you? And I would like to say if you're here this morning and your life is a turmoil and a wreck. There is a man that specializes in wrecks. They signs all over Canton and this is what they say. We buy ugly houses. Everybody ever saw them signs? But they buy them and they don't leave them ugly. Because they go in and they change them and they make them fit to look at. Whenever the flood come through, they'd put that big old circle on them houses. Put that X through it, which means condemned, not worthy to live in. Whenever you live for the devil, that's what you was. Not fit to live in. But Jesus come down the street of your world one day and he looked over at your life and said, I buy ugly houses. For I come not into the world to condemn the world but that the world through me might be saved. 
Do you remember the day when he came down where you was and he said, I'll save you and I'll change you. In your world and in your mind, the devil's telling you you're crazy. You've gone too far. You've gone too far. Amen. The prodigal son said, I will arise and go back to my father and I will say, I'm not worthy. I mean, I've sinned against you and against heaven and I'm no worthy, no more worthy to be called thy son. Just make me one of thy servants. But while he was a great way off, the father seen him coming and he ran and embraced him and picked him up and kissed him and said, go kill the fat and calf for my son who was lost. Amen. Now he is found. Amen. Ain't you glad that day he come where you was? If you're here this morning, you're not where you need to be. There's a man in this building. You can't see him, but you can feel him. You know he's here. You know his presence is in here. Amen. And he's in here to do one thing. And he's not here to beat you up. He's not here to stomp you down. He's here to tell you, I love you. and I can change you. If your life's not totally surrendered to him, today's a great day to say, I'm tired of trying my way. Because you've got to be honest. Your way always leads you to an empty, dead-end street. But if you'll surrender your life to God, you don't know what tomorrow's going to hold. But when you lay down, you can say, I do know who holds tomorrow. Every head bowed, every eyes closed just a moment. You've heard the testimonies of the miracles of God.